Hi, Highway. Really happy that you're joining with us online right now. Um, as you guys know, we're going through a 21 days of uh, fasting and prayer and all of Highway. And as we are doing so, we have a devotion that our church has provided you. There's a calendar that we provided you. And during the 21 days that we have service, which started from last week, today we're on Tuesday, right? The second week, the Tuesday. We want you to just be in devotion with us, and we want to go through the passages that these, uh, uh, through the passages that's every single day on how it's supposed to be. And today, in particular, I want to talk about John chapter one. Before I talk about John chapter one, I want to kind of review what we talked about yesterday, right? Yesterday, we spoke about how these two people were walking the road to Emmaus. And as these two people were walking through the road of Emmaus, they met Jesus. At first, they didn't re realize it was Jesus. But then later, after they realized that it was Jesus and Jesus has left, these guys started to talk amongst themselves. Wait, didn't our hearts burn when he was speaking amongst us? This, this word of God that he was speaking to us as we were going through all the prophets from Moses and all the prophets, like all these things concerning of Jesus, weren't our hearts burning? You know, Highway, last week we were going through Passion Week. And as we were going through Passion Week, as I was going through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for all of those days, starting from the Sunday, right? All the way to Easter Sunday, Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday. Man, my heart was burning. I hope yours was too. The Word of God has that much power. Highway, and then today, it, re it really relates to a lot to what we were talking about yesterday, about how the Word of God does really have that power. We'll go through John chapter 1. We'll go from verse 1 through 14. We're going to go right now from verse 1 through 5. It says, In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God. The Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and darkness can never extinguish it. John writes this book. John the disciple writes this book. It's not John the Baptist, John the disciple. And the first words that he writes about describing the events of what Jesus has, has gone through was that he is the Word. The Word, the Word, the Word. That is the first way he wants to describe Jesus. And that's very important, Highway. What does he say about the Word? Well, this Word was from the beginning. The Word created all things. The Word is powerful. The Word is God. The Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. I wait. There's a reason why all these pastors always tell you to read the Word of God. Even if it's five minutes, even if it's ten minutes, you do that every single day. Man, that Word has so much power. To those two uh, disciples that were walking in that road to Emmaus, it had so much power that, man, they were being inspired. Their hearts were burning. The Word of God will go through the whole book of John of how much the Word has power that if you remain in Him and in His words, man, your prayer life is going to be so much more powerful. The Word, the Word, the Word, the Word, the Word. It's important. Why? Because the Word made flesh is Jesus. Now, in verse 6, it talks about, from verse 6 to 13, it says, God sent the man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to tell about the light. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He came to the world, very world he created, and but the world did not recognize him. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn not with physical rebirth, but resulting from a human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. John the disciple and John the Baptist are two different people. John the, the disciple talks about John the Baptist. And as John the Baptist was, he was talking about John the Baptist. He was telling him that this guy had this job, uh, not to be the light, but to introduce the light. There's a very important thing that we should learn from this. See, as John the Baptist was introducing the light, whoever accepted this light was going to be a child of God. Man, the thing about this is, first off, the word, accepting the word, that's such a joy, that's such a pleasure, that's a, such a life-changing event. 
But the thing about John was this. All his job was to introduce Jesus. John did not have the job of, of, of changing another person's life. He didn't try to baptize a person, sink them in water and say, until you believe you can't get out of here. No, that was not his job. John's job was just to prepare the way for the light, the word make flesh, Jesus Christ. Why? Because the word has power. Nowhere in this Bible does it say John the Baptist had power. No, it doesn't. John just prepared the way and then the word of God, which came to flesh, started talking and speaking amongst people. That's when their lives change. Highway, there's an important lesson for us to learn. Do you want your life to be changed? Do you want your friends, your families, their lives to be changed in the positive way? Introduce them to the word. Have the word of God in your mind and in your hearts and in, on your lips. Speak it daily. Read it daily. And as you live it out, man, that has power, Highway. Make sure you do that. In verse 14, it says this, The word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. John talks about how the Word became flesh. And the characteristics of Jesus were these two things, full of unfailing love and full of faithfulness. That is our Lord Jesus. Full of unfailing love. He will never stop loving you. As you read the Word of God, you will find out that He will never stop loving you. He will go to the cross Himself to die for you on the cross so that you would understand that He loves you and wants to be with you for the rest of eternity. He is full of faithfulness. We are faithless. We, we fail so many times. We really, really, God, I will never sin this again. The next day we end up sinning. Our minds, we think of things that we shouldn't be thinking about. Sometimes we speak things that we shouldn't speak about. Sometimes it's in our hearts, just malice and anger and frustration and hatred and whatever it is. We are so in our faith. Man, we fail so many times. But God is faithful. From the very beginning to the very end, He is always faithful. The Word of God, as you read it more, you will find out that He is faithful he, was only be, he will always be faithful and that he is full of unfailing love. Highway, do you want to get to know Jesus more? Do you love Jesus? Read the word. Read the word. That has so much power. Let me pray for you real quick. Father, today as we spoke this message, as, as we are going through this devotion, I pray God that Highway would even go through the calendar of reading all of John chapter 1. And that passage in Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 15, that we would read it and that we would treasure it. We would look for you, Jesus, in all of these passages. And as we find you, man, our hearts, that our hearts would burn. Holy Spirit, would you please lead us in these devotions as we go through every single day. In Jesus' name we pray. Highway, I love you so much. I can't wait till we are actually back together in service. Um, I wish you the best, uh, and the Lord's going to be with you in your devotions. Make sure you happy to do it, okay? Bye-bye.